good morning to all today we are going to discuss the virtualization and its types virtualization is a technology that help us to install the different operating systems on a hardware they are completely separated and independent from each other definitely in wikipedia the definition of virtualization is in computing virtualization is a broad term that refers to the abstraction of computer resources so it is a term of computing that is at a computing so how to do of this you have to install of this our uh, operating system in a different manner a different uh, operating system in a one single system so the term is a broadly then you have to that the virtualization hides the physical characteristics of computer resources from their uses be the applications or end users this includes making a, a single phenomenon so virtualization is the ability to run the multiple operating systems in a single physical system and share the underlying hardware resources so one of one is that one application or one operating system or uh, there in your system for example it is an microsoft operating system you have to run as is one more operating system is ubuntu or you have to run is is one more operating system is is your uh, uh, like call it your iso like that so this is called as a virtuality they allows as a one computer to provide the appearance of many computers so that is the feeling will be the come out when your computer is this is is in like a mini computers that means you can operate you can work with the microsoft windows operating system you can work you work with your ubuntu or you can work, uh, work with this in your another operating system is an iso or some other some other So another definition is this: the virtualization means that applications can use your resources without any concern for where it resides. So, what is the technical interface? Interface is how it has been implemented, which platform it uses, and how much of it is available. So that is the thinking here. So. what is the interferences will be there what type of technology technology interference will be there and how it is to implemented of this uh, uh, the virtualization that means different operating systems like of different applications are working in a one computer and which type of platforms you have to uh, use uh, for supporting of this type of uh, uh, virtualization so that's a rick f van der lands in a data virtualization for business intelligence system is defined as the, the virtualization is virtualization means that applications can use a resources without any concern for where it resides what the technology technical interfaces is and how it has been implemented and which platform it uses and how much of it is available so this is that a broad definition of your virtualization so see the virtualization hides the physical characteristics of computing resources from their users be the applications or end users so this is that a simple thing so one is an appearing and what it is the behind thing is that so this is that in the hiding will be there it's like, suppose in the case of a man the man he have to speak something but innerly they have to thinking is in different different ways but they are not expressing 
so oh, you are expressing is in one and they have to thinking is in another way and many things and many directions so this is a virtuality so the physical characteristics of a computing resources of their uses by be the applications are end users so here is is uh, the uh, what is the differences of this uh, physical and virtual missions so physical and virtual missions you see there is uh, uh, the the physical things what is the physical thing and uh, what is your uh, virtual thing is coming into the point so you suppose in the case of a physical thing is is it is your one computer you see what is it is there in the physically they say you have the upper part is an applications and is the lower part your architecture and your lower part is of your uh, architecture what you have to uh, seeing of this uh, the architecture is there that is called as your your uh, computer motherboard your ram your uh, hard disk or your uh, what, what, do you, what do you call it as your ram or your physical that is called what is your call it of your cpu uh, what is your processor like that and operating system means so what type of operating system you have to use in your system that is a uh, microsoft uh, microsoft uh, or uh, microsoft windows or microsoft uh, uh, nt whatever that is microsoft 2000 whatever that one so applications different types of applications you have to run for example microsoft word or microsoft office uh, or in the case of your visual basic or in the case of your uh, power builder and uh, or in the case of your oh, uh, angular web application so many things these are all the different types of applications so it is a single operating system and the hardware plus software is a tightly coupled the application crashes is effect of all nothing is there so when the hardware is a crash everything will be the problem and if the software is a crash when the operating system is a crash so whatever that one thing so will will be there gone so sometimes it is a crashing of the hard disk so ever then data will be the crash so entire data will be the crash suppose if the ram will be there physical memory will be the last so automatically your booting system will be the failure like that so the resources under of this utilizations is that when it is the work only for the simple in single way that is a physically you know that everything will have to come but what is that virtual missions but what is a virtual mission will be that is so in the mission view is to is that your operating system your operating system is an independent of a hardware so uh, your multiple operating systems and you have to isolate it to of your different different types of applications and you are safety of the multiple multiplexing of the resources so that is the an uh, advantages will be there of your virtual uh, missions so what are the five reasons to virtualize of your things the fever thing is that first is called as a sharing break up your large resources a large capacity or a high speed of your things for example in the case of the software servers many servers okay we have to running is as a different different platforms different different operating systems how to run as a different different servers so whenever it is required you have to break up of giving us is uh, some resources and you have to use as a large capacity of your uh, some servers and you have to implementing as a high speed servers also so this is the possibility will be there in your uh, uh, virtualization and second is an isolation the protection from other tenants what is that isolation is a protection from other tenants so they have to give us so many private networks so many private virtual networks then how to create aggregate the combining the many resources into one for example in the case of a storage and a many storage devices then how to connecting as is one some uses an as sas or storage area network so network area storage and so many is there then you have to combining of the things and the storage then you have to a huge amount of storage will be the amount next is the dynamics the fastly then allocation change mobility load balancing virtual missions or this then the balancing of the load suppose in the case of you have to browsing of the one web browser so at that time web browser the capacities of the load balancing capacity of the particular web browser web browser is a many millions and trillions of users are 
are uh, using of the particular web browser in a particular time that load balancing will be the different. So they are not varying of this that uh, the web application load, server load, at that time how we can to change that is uh, what is the mobility will be there. So allocation of this and we have to change, switch over into that and another server, the fast way then you have to allocate into the another server. So that is called as a dynamism. At the time of execution, at the time of uh, doing of the process, then you have to do of the changes. That is called as a dynamism. Next is the easy of management. The easy of distribution, development, testing, and all these things. Then you have to usually, then you have to do it as an easy man. So these are the five reasons to how to virtualizing of the thing. With the show, you have to virtualizing of your system, virtualizing of your applications, softwares, or operating systems, and your devices. So these are the advantages. The advantage of virtualization is this, minimize the hardware cost. Yes, sure. When we have to sharing the hardware, suppose one person is not using of your particular hard disk in the properly, when this you will be how to virtualizing this hard disk to the other people, so the other people can utilize. Don't waste of your, uh, the cost of your so hardware cost is for, for example, 100 GB hard disk is was around as is 4000 rupees. But properly you are not using of this, uh, so other person can utilize. Not only of this, this is a simple thing. So how to use this, a huge amount of uh, hardware will be there. In the case of a processor, in the case of your RAM, or uh, so many things will be there. So multiple virtual servers and then one physical hardware. So you have to load as this in one particular hardware system and virtual servers you have to develop. Many virtual servers you have to develop. Okay, many of the people, different, different applications, you have to run it. They easily move to the virtual machines to the other data centers. So you have to use the word is a data centers. So how to establish so, so many data centers, so many, so many storage units, managing units. That's called it as a data centers. We have to easily to move from one data center to the another data. That is the possibility will be there in our days. So that's why that is to happening of your Facebook and uh, WhatsApp or your banking system and your so many things will be there. So when it is a disaster will be the come. So how to what will be the happening is in uh, 2000 uh, Y2K. That is a 2000 year 2000. Uh, uh, that is a uh, so 15 hours will be the collapse in America. So within one hour, uh, the many of the software company, many of the software companies, they are working in another place. So that in the US, in that US, what it is there is this, uh, uh, so many uh, so many software companies are there. So that entire is a collapse. Uh, so next, within one hour, that all the companies, many of the companies are working in another place. What will happen in this? So these are the mechanism will be there. So consolidated ideal workloads. Usage is a burstly and asynchronous, increased device utilization, conserve as a power, free up as unused physical resources, easier automation, uh, simplified the provisioning, administration of hardware and software, scalability and flexibility of the multiple users. So these are the many advantages will be there in our virtualization of your uh, computer. So now is coming to the types of virtualization. You have to virtualizing not only of this some uh, simple things, and so many is there. The servers and platforms, so many servers, you have to virtualize the servers. You have to platforms, platforms virtualization, server virtualization. You have desktop virtualization. So in the one in, the, in your one window, it's another window, is that, that uh, software as a virtualization. And system resources, then you have to virtualizing it. And data virtualization, network virtualization. But again, it's a broadly it is divided as this uh, the fully server, full server virtualization, partial server virtualization, partial platform virtualization, full server virtualization, and uh, uh, the para virtualization and parameter based virtualization, and server hosted dispatch will be there, and lo locally hosted desktops, and how to virtualize, and OS, OS level virtualization, and that's in the comes out of the software. In the comes after the software is application, so many applications, so many services. We have to rendering of the so many services in the virtualization. And system resources is that CPU, 
your central processing unit is memory, storage, hard disk, and I/O. Input output device is also then you have to uh, virtualize. So uh, we have to set, you know that one, in that uh, uh, the smart watch will be there, so sometimes we have to use that, some uh, virtualization will be there, automatically just we have to use that one, so some uh, virtual pad, keyboard, keyboard then you have to uh, play on your things. So, so many things will be there. And uh, databases, we have to virtualize our databases, networking, the functions of your networks, anything is there, different types of virtualization. So, in this, all these types of virtualization, so majorly is this uh, comes under of these things. Server virtualization, client desktop application virtualization, network virtualization, storage virtualization, service and application infrastructure virtualization. Service infrastructure, service virtualization, application, application infra, virtual, infrastructure virtualization. These are that uh, broadly it is that uh, they have to divide up this type of uh, virtualization. You come into the server virtualization. So, in the server virtualization concept, you have to see this one. So, many guess operating systems will be n number of operating systems. Will be there. So, in this n number of operating systems are playing or running in your system. So, it is a platform will be there. The middle is a hypervisor platform, hypervisor. So, in the below is a host operating system. So, in the lower layer, it is your hardware, your computer hardware, that is your processor, your memory, your RAM, your uh, input devices, your output devices, or whatever. This is called the physical hardware. In the next layer is this, your hosting operating system. So, one operating system can you have to host. So, that is called the base. So, in this operating system, is said multi, so many guest operating systems you have to play in, is a virtual, virtualization. So, based on the hypervisor will be the hypervisor is the key role when you have to play in uh, the virtualization of your different different operating systems on a particular host operating system. So here is this is one type of hypervisor, and another is this without the hosting of operating system, the hardware in based on the hardware is a down layer, and the hypervisor type is this and the guest operating systems. Okay, no host operating. System. But completely it is that different different types of operating systems will be there. N number of operating systems are playing on a hardware. So hypervisor type 1, here is hypervisor type 2. So the host operating system runs on the bare metals and guest operating systems runs on the host operating system. For example, Windows XP mode on Win 7. The hypervisor is that a software to support as a multiple virtual missions like of type 1, type 2 and type 0. The type 0 is a both of 1 and 2 they have to do. And type 1 is this the runs on the bare metal gen, VMware, ESXi. Type 2 is the runs on the host of OS. Example is as MS virtual PC. So this is that uh, example of your uh, type 1, type 2 and type 3. So I go to that uh, the server virtualization is this. A server virtualization is the most active segment of the virtualization industry. The futuring established companies such as VMware, Microsoft, and Citrix. With the server virtualization, is a one physical mission is divided many virtual servers. At the core of such virtualization is the concept of hypervisor. That is called as a virtual mission monitor. So hypervisor is a Virtual mission monitor. So, what is an hypervisor? Hypervisor is a thin software layer. See this one. Hypervisor is a, a thin. Next slide, if you have to see. So, hypervisor is a, a thin software layer that intercepts operating system calls to hardware. So, two types of hypervisors are there. Type 1 type 2 and type 0 is also there that is a both of type 1 and type 2. So already is that a type 1 is a this type of hypervisor is also known as a native or bare metal. They run directly on the hardware with the guest operating systems running on top of them. Examples include VMware, ESX, Citrix, Gen servers and Microsoft hypervisor. Type 2 is a this type of hypervisor runs on top of an existing operating system 
with the guest running at a third level above hardware that is called as an example includes VMware workstation and SMSoft's parallel desktop. So you see this one, this is that uh, uh, host, uh, okay, here see this one, this is the hypervisor type 1 and this is the hypervisor type 2. The hypervisor type 2 is a host operating system based, here is this, no need of this host. So directly is for this hardware will be there. So what are the advantages and the benefits of this uh, uh, server upper, uh, server side virtualization and what are the disadvantages with that? You see is that increased hardware utilization. So how it is to increasing this hardware utilization will be there. So they heard that uh, the results is the hardware saving, the reducing the administration of overheads and energy saving. The second advantage is the security. The clean images can be used to restore the compromised systems virtual missions can also provide that sandboxing and isolation to limit attacks. The development is another advantage. The debugging and performance monitoring scenarios can be easily be set up in a repeatable fashion. Developers also have easy to access operating systems. They might not otherwise be able to install on their desktops. So these are the advantages of your a server virtualization. But what are the disadvantages and drawbacks or downsides? This, in the case of a security, there are no now more entry points such as the hypervisor and virtual networking layer to monitor. A comprised image can also be propagated easily with the virtualization technology. And administration is there. While there are less physical machines to maintain, there may be a more missions and aggregated. Such missions may require some new skills and familiarity with the software that administrations otherwise would not need. The listening and cost accounting. Many software licensing schemes do not take virtualization into their account. For example, the running the four copies of Windows on one box may require the four separate licenses. So this is also a very cost effect. One operating system you have to license, okay, some it is a little bit fast, but four operating systems you have to run is in virtual, but four licenses then you have to get. So that is an disadvantage. Performance. Virtualization effectively partitioned resources such as RAM and CPU and physical machines. This combined with the hypervisor overhead does not result in a environment and focus on maximizing of your performance maximizing of your performance. So uh, these are the uh, disadvantages of uh, a server virtualization. Now we go to that uh, application virtualization. Okay, uh, thank you. I'll, I'll discuss this uh, tomorrow that uh, next uh, type of virtualization. Thank you.